Facebook is different, as one can explore and communicate with others without an alias. If one's self-presentation is accepted or leads to satisfaction on Facebook, the individual internalizes their social reception and proceeds with or potentially exaggerates that identity. If individual self-presentation is uncomfortable or rejected, they more easily avoid face-to-face -face criticism by rapidly returning to exploring alternate identities. This instantaneous feedback and ability to redesign one's identity allows Facebook users to actively combine speaking, writing, acting, interacting, feeling, believing, valuing, dressing, illustrating, and expressing in a particular way. So while many of us are attacking social media and the impact that it has on a child's ability to communicate with others, we must also acknowledge the role that it plays in the identity development and experimentation of adolescents. Where associations between identity and relationships with others are explored, the most common identity formation partners are the adolescent's parents and, to a lesser extent, their closest friends or romantic partners. Missing from the discussion of identity formation are usually teachers. They can serve as identity agents and can engage in efforts to shape the environment and experiences of students to facilitate movement towards identity goals. Teachers can be purposeful co-constructors of adolescents' identities when they use a transformative pedagogical approach that involves fostering collaborative learning and empowering students to think creatively and critically. Teachers who choose to use transformative pedagogy are not simply using a technique for teaching. They are applying a philosophy in the classroom that includes a clear investment in their students' identities. Parents have a focus on what they want their child to become, while teachers have the ability to see what their students' skills and strengths are. Feedback from teachers and classmates is important for the identity formation of adolescents. Feedback can reaffirm strengths and challenge the negative views that students may have about themselves. Teachers have a responsibility to create a positive and safe classroom environment. We are an important role in the identity formation of our students, and we need to take that responsibility seriously. We need to encourage our students to explore their interests and experiment in different states of Marcia's identity development and encourage them in their goals. There are different ways that we, as teachers, can help our students in their identity development. We can use websites such as careercruising.com to guide our students down the path of career choice and have them start considering different careers. Completing this process at school can alleviate some of the family pressures that some of our students may be enduring at home. Encouraging exploration and experimentation reduces our students' risks of foreclosure. We also need to create an open and welcoming classroom where students can feel free to experiment with their identities in ways that they may not feel comfortable in doing at home. We need to create a classroom that can serve as a platform for their social media experimentation and a step closer to identity achievement. Thank you for listening and have a great day. Created using Powtoon.